Hi, this is Adam from the Small Town Machine Shop with a out in the field repair. This eight inch check valve is bad, it's leaking by. This pump here is hooked to a VFD, it's a 120 horse pump. So what happens is when it builds up the pressure, the pump goes to sleep, it's seeping back. So the pump kicks on, gets the pressure back up. So it's uh, build, it was building up a lot of heat and there was no water moving. So that is the culprit. So we're gonna have to take this guy out first because there's no room to slide those back or to slide those past that flange. And the sound's gonna be awful because I'm next to a highway. So get a little bit further and I'll bring you back. Okay, I got the uh, butterfly valve out. That was a pain. This thing is tight. And then, as you see here on the check valve, this is the kind of stuff they do as they build out. They put these all threads through here. They won't go past this adapter flange and obviously they won't go back past the pump. So I'm gonna take the last few nuts out, support this under here, and I'm gonna have to pull this off and away and then we'll get that uh, check valve out of there. Another thing is, and I know you, you should all know this, whenever you're doing any work with flanges, there is never a reason to put your finger in the holes. Bad stuff happens. So yeah. Um, also, part of the struggle was they used these red rubber full face gaskets. They do that a lot on assembly because these things are obviously pressure tested. So and it's you fight the surface tension when you're trying to pry it out. I use these, uh, the green Garlock ring gaskets. So I've just put like two bolts in the bottom, they drop right in, never had one leak, even up to like 250 pounds. So, kind of like that. This is the kind of gasket I'm gonna replace it with. So yeah, we'll get this off and we'll take a look at the check valve. Okay, we got it out. That's where it used to live. See here where it was bypassing. This collar here is moving, or this seal part. Obviously, it's not supposed to do that. So that came loose. And that's where we're shooting through, and it rounded over that uh, set screw. So yeah, that guy out. Um, I'm thinking about maybe taking that piece back to the shop Turning it down like a sixteenth of an inch on the lathe Make the fit up a little better We'll see um, Just having the ring gaskets should make it go together pretty good So yeah, we'll grab the new one And we'll start throwing it back together Okay, we've got the uh New check, check valve in, held kind of loosely. I need to leave it loose, have a little bit of wiggle room to get that butterfly back in there so I'm not fighting everything. So, I'll probably, this is still sitting higher. So I'll take the jack down and uh, get it more lined up. Now throw the valve in, bolt it to one side, take up the uh, gasket. And hopefully be able to get the, the other uh, ring gasket in there without too much trouble. So yeah, it's nice to... Uh, we have multiple things coming together here. And especially when you're field fitting. is You know, leave everything just a little loose. So uh, you can make up differences in height. A lot of the times when you unbolt this stuff, it will actually spring apart. And then it's, then it's really fun. So... I'll get to that and I'll bring you back. And there we go. Got a new check valve in with the directional flow the right way. Got the butterfly put back in. Took a lot of wedging and lifting with the jack to get that to get that in. That was not fun. And I'm completely covered in anti-seize, as it is anytime you use anti-seize out in the field. So yeah, quick little job of uh, some field work. Again, sorry about the noise next to a freeway. 
This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.